Welcome to Faith Revival Holiness Church, also Faith Revival Place International. I'm your host, Minister and Prophet M.J. Mays. Let us begin in prayer. Father, we love you. We thank you, Father, for your holy words, for all the things that you allow us to read that is holy manuscripts of your word and things that were once there, but for some reason, some worldly people got in there and tried to change it and bring it out because it a lot of end time or more understanding of uh, different things that happen uh, biblically. And we thank you, Father, and we praise you for all these saints. In your holy name, amen. All right, we're going to do some more of the book of Jasher. Uh, Jasher is a, a name for a meaning of what the, the people are, uh, the, the righteous people uh, is what Jasher means, righteous people. And it's Jasher, at at some, at some is is the word for mightier. Uh, we're going to learn about how God makes us mightier than our foes, and uh, we'll see it through example, and then we become likened unto that as we're faithful, because He's the same yesterday, today, and forever more. Amen. All right, and so it's Jasher. Um, 65, 1 through 38, 66, 1 through 31, 67, 1 through 61. All right, well, let's begin. Praise God. And it says, And it came to pass after these things that all the councils of the Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and all the elders of Egypt assembled and came and before the king, bowed down to the ground and they sat before him and and they counseled the and the elders of Egypt spoke unto the king saying behold the people of the children of Israel is greater and mightier than we are and and thou knowest all the evil which they did to us in the road when we returned to battle see so so the evil people of the world have their form of what they call evil, and that's the people that are good. It's always been that way, you know, because their 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 whole perspective of their mind is warped, literally, and so that's why they think good is evil, and and their evil is good. That's why the Bible constantly says those things. Let's continue. And thou has always seen their strong power, for this power is upon them from their father for but a few of men stood up against a people numberous of the sand smote at them at the edge of the sword and and of them themselves not one fell so that they have been numerous and they would then have utterly destroyed them now therefore give us counsel uh, what to do with them until we Gradually destroy them from amongst us, lest that they become too numerous for us to, to in the land. For if the children of Israel should increase in the land, they will become an uh, a, a object to us. And if they, if any war should happen and take place, they, with their great strength will join our enemies against us and fight against us and destroy us from the land and go away from it. So the king uh, answered the elders of Egypt and says unto them, This is the plan of vice against Israel from which we will not depart. Behold, the land are uh, 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 Phiphon, and Ramsey cities on, on fortress against battle. It, it belongs to you and us to build them, to fortress of them. Now therefore go you also and act cunningly towards them, proclaiming a, a voice in Egypt and into Goshen at the command of the king, saying, All ye men of Egypt and Goshen, and uh, Pathros and all the 
inhabitants of the king has commanded us to build a Pithras and Ramses and to a fortress and to for battle whom amongst you of all Egypt and the children of Israel and all of the inhabitants of the cities are willing to build with us and shall each have a wage given to him daily at the king's order. So go you first and do, do it cunningly. Gather that yourself and come to a Pith, Pithon and Ramses to build. And with you are building, cause to proclaim uh, the kind of be made without Egypt every day at the command of the king. And, and then some of the children of Israel shall come and build with you, and you to give them their wages daily as a few days. And after they will, shall have built with you and their daily hire, draw yourself away from them daily, one by one in secret. And then you shall raise up and become their taskmasters and officers. And you shall leave them afterwards to build without wage, and shall they refuse and then force them with all the might in the city. And if you do this, it will be well with us and to strengthen our land against the children of Israel. So this is what they did, the cunning trickery. And they do that garbage today in other ways. Uh, for on that account of, of the, the figure of the building and the work, and the children of Israel will be uh, decreased because you will deprive them from their wives day by day. And all the elders of Egypt heard the counsel of the king, and the counsel seemed good to their eyes and and in the eyes of the servant of the Pharaoh, in the eyes of all of Egypt. And they did according to the words of the king. And all the servants went away from the king, and they caused the uh, proclamation to be made in Egypt and uh, Chen uh, Panich and in Agosha and in all the cities which surrounded Egypt saying you have seen the children of Esau and Ishmael did to us who came to war against us and wish to destroy us now therefore the king commands us to make a fortress in the land to build the city of uh, P Pithram and Ramses and a fortress in whom to battle and if they should again come against us whoever of you from all of Egypt from the children of Israel will come and build with us and he shall have his daily wage given by the king and as he commanded us to and when the e Egypt and all the children of Israel heard all the that the servants of the Pharaoh had spoken, there came from the Egyptians and the children of Israel to build with the, the servants of the Pharaoh, a Pithom and Ramsey. But none of the children of Levi came with their brethren to build. And all the servants of uh, the Pharaoh and his prince came at first with uh, things to build with all of Israel at daily higher labor. And they came, gave Israel their daily uh, hire at the beginning. And the, the servants of the Pharaoh built with all Israel and were in, employed in works with Israel for months. And at the end of the month, all the servants of the Pharaoh began to withdraw securely from the people of Israel daily. And Israel went on with the work at the time, but they then received their daily hire because some of the men of Egypt were yet carrying on work with Israel at that time before 
the Egyptian gave Israel their hire in those days, in order that they, the Egyptians, their a fellow workmen, might also take pay for their labors. And at the end of the year, and their four months, all the Egyptians had withdrawn from the children of Israel, so that the children of Israel were left alone engaged in work. And after all the Egyptians had withdrawn from the turn of Israel, they returned and be became oppressors and officers over them. And some of them stood over the turn of Israel as a taskmaster to receive from them all that gave them the pay of their labors. And, and the Egyptians did this matter to the children of Israel day by day in order to afflict the Israelites in their work. And all of the children of Israel were all along engaged in labor. And the Egyptians re refused from giving them any pay to the children of Israel from that day forward. And then some of the men of Israel refused to work on account of the wage not being given to them. And then the the stream of the servants of the Pharaoh oppressed them, smote them with heavy bows, making them return by force to labor with their brethren. Thus did all the Egyptians unto the children of Israel all that day. And all, all the children of Israel were greatly afraid of the Egyptians in their matters, and all the children of Israel returned work along with their pay. And the children of Israel built Pithom and Ramses, and all the children of Israel did their work, some, some making brick and some building, and, and the children of Israel built the fortress of, of the land of Egypt and its walls. The children of Israel were engaged in work for many years until the time came when, when Yahweh remembered them and brought them out of Egypt. But the children of Levi were not employed in work with their brethren of Israel from the beginning until the day of their going forth from Egypt. For all the children of, of Levi knew that the Egyptians had spoken all these words in deceit to Israel. Therefore, the children of Levi refrained from approaching the work with their brethren. And the Egyptians did not direct their attention to make the children of, of Levi work afterwards, since they had not been with their brethren at the beginning. Therefore, the Egyptians left them alone. And the hand of, of a, a man of Egypt were directly with continues secured against the children of Israel and the work. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel work with vigor. And the Egyptians bitterly, uh, the, the lives of the children of Israel with the hand work of mortar and brick, and also all matter of work in the field. And the children of Israel called uh, Milo, the king of Egypt, Mira, king of Egypt, because in this day the the Egyptians had bitterly their lives with all manner of work, and all work within the Egypt made the children of Israel labor, especially in vigorous, in order to afflict children of Israel, but more the affliction of them, and more they increased and grew. And it, it, the Egyptians were grievous because the children of Israel. And at, at that time, Hadad, the son of Bedad, the king of Edom, and uh, Shemel, the, the from um, um, Masoric, from the country of the children of the east, reigned in the, the in in his place and 13 years of reigning 
of the Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, which was a hundred and twenty five years of the Israel going down to Egypt. Uh, Semel, Sem, Semel had reigned over Edom 18 years. And then he reigned and he drew forth his host to go to fight against Zepho the son of uh, Abazar. And the children of uh, Chatham uh, became, they made war against Angus the king of Africa, and they destroyed his whole army. But he did not engage with him, for the children of Esau prevented him, saying, He was their brother, so Shemal uh, listened to the voice of the of the children of Esau and turned back with the, all their force to the land of Edom and did not a uh, pr process to fight against Zepho, the, the son of Abazar. And the Pharaoh king of Egypt heard this thing, saying, Sema, king of Esau, had restored to fight the children of uh, Chittim. And afterwards, he will come to fight Egypt. And then when Egyptians heard this matter, they increased their labor upon the children of Israel, lest the Israelis should do unto them as they, they did them to war with the children of Esau in that day of Hadad. So the Egyptians said unto the children of Israel, Hasten and do your work, finish your task, and strengthen the land, lest the children of Esau with your brethren should Come to fight against us, for on, on your account will they come against us. And the children of Israel did the work of the men of Egypt day by day, and the Egyptians afflicted the children of Israel in order to lessen them in the land. But the Egyptians in, uh, but as the Egyptians increased the labor upon the children of Israel, so did the children of Israel increase and multiply. And all the Egypt was filled with the with the children of Israel. And in the hundred and twenty-fifth year of Israel going down into Egypt, all the Egyptians saw that their counsel did not succeed against Israel, but that they increased and grew, and the land of Egypt and the land of Gosham were filled with children of Israel. So all the elders of Egypt and its wise men came before the king, bowed down to him, and sat before him. And all the elders of Egypt and the wise men therefore said unto the king, May the king live forever. Thou did counsel us and counsel against the children of Israel. And we did unto account of the words of the king. But in the proclamation increasing the labors, so do they increased and grew in land. Behold, the whole country is filled with them. Now therefore, our Lord and King, the eyes of Egypt is upon thee to give them advice and wisdom by which they may prevail over Israel and destroy them or dimming them from the land. And the king answered them, saying, Give your counsel in this matter that we may know what to do to them. And the officers in one of the king's council, and whose name was uh, Job, from Mesopotamia, in the land of Uz, answered the king, saying, If it pleases the king, let him hear the counsel of his servant. And the king said unto him, Speak. And Job spoke and before the king and the prince and their before all the elders of the Egypt, saying, Behold the counsel of the king, which advice formal respect of labor of the children of Israel is very good, and you must not remove them from their labors forever. But this is the advice counsel by which you may lessen them, if it seems good to the king to afflict them. Behold, we have 
fear war for a long time, and we said, when Israel becomes fruitful in, in the land, they will divide us from the land if a war should take place. And if, if it please the king, let the royal decree go forth, that, and let it be written in law on Egypt, which shall not be revoked, that every male child born to Israelis, his, his blood shall be spilled upon the ground. And by you doing this, then all the men, male children of, of Israel shall have died, and the evil of their wars will cease, and let the king do so, and send for all the Hebrews midwives, and order them to matter to execute it. So things pleased the king and the prince, and the king did order to the, the word of Job. This is a different Job. There's, you know, people do have similar names. And the king sent uh, for the Hebrew midwives to be called, and which the, the name of one of them was uh, Shephra, and the name of the other uh, Pura. And the midwives came before the king and stood in the presence, and the king said unto them, When you do, when you do, office of midwifing to the Hebrew women, see them until uh, the uh, stools. And if it is be a son, then uh, you shall kill him. But if it is be a daughter, then she can live. But if you will not do this thing, then will I burn you up all of your houses with fire. And the midwife feared uh, God and did not hearken to the king of Egypt near his word. And when the Hebrew women brought forth to, uh, to the midwife, son or daughter, then did the midwife do all the necessary to the children and let them live. Thus did the midwife all their days. And the things was told to the king and he sent and called for the midwives, and he said to them, Why have you done this thing, and have saved the children alive? And the midwives answered and spoke together before the king, saying, Let not the king think that the Hebrew women are as Egyptian women. For all the children of Israel are, are pale, and, there, and therefore the midwives come, to them and are delivered. And as for us, thy midwives, for many days no Hebrew women have brought forth unto us. For all the Hebrew women are their own midwives before their own. And the Pharaoh heard this word and be, be, believed them. And this in matter. And the midwives went away from the king, and, and God dealt well with them, and the people multiplied and waxed exceedingly. There was a man in the land of Egypt, of the seed of Levi, whose name was Aaron, the son of Kiath, the son of Levi, the son of Israel. And this man went and took a wife named uh, Jasper, the, the daughter of Levi, this, his father's sister. And she was 136 years old. And he uh, came unto her. And the woman conceived and bared a daughter. And she called her name Miriam, because in those days the Egyptians were embittering the lives of the children of Israel. And she conceived again and bared a son, and she called his name Aaron. For it is in that day her conception that Pharaoh became to spill a blood of the male children of Israel. 
In those days uh, died Zepho, the son of uh, Eleazar, the son of e uh, Esau, the king of Chittim. And Janus reigned over instead. And the king, the, the time of Zepho reign over the children of Ch Chittim was 50 years. And he died and was buried in the city of uh, Na Nabana in the land of Chittim. And Janus, one, one of the mighty men of the children of Chittim, reigned after him and reigned 50 years and it was it and and, and it was after the death of the king of, of Chittim that Balaam the son of Beor fled from the land of Chittim and went and 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 came to Egypt to the pharaoh the king of uh, Egypt the pharaoh received him with great honor for he had heard of the wisdom and he gave him pre uh, present and made him the counselor and advisor to him. And Balaam uh, dwelt to, to Egypt and honor with all the nobles of Egypt, of the king. And the nobles exalted him because they all covered to learn his wisdom. And in the hundred and thirtieth year of Egypt, Israel going down to Egypt, the Pharaoh dreamed that he was sitting upon his kingly throne, lifted up his eyes, and he saw an old man standing before him. Therefore were scales in his hands of the old man, which such scales as are used by merchants. And the old man took the scales and hung them before the Pharaoh. And the old man took all the elders of Egypt and all the nobles and all the great men and, and he tried them together and put them on one scale. And he took a milk kit and put it upon the other scale. And the kit pondered over all. And, and the Pharaoh was astounded and his dreadful vision and they and why the kit should uh, proclaim over all. And the Pharaoh woke and be, behold, it was a dream. And the Pharaoh rose up early in the morning and called on the servants and related to them the dream. And the men were greatly afraid and the king said, to, to all the wisdom of men. Interpret, all, I pray, unto the dream which I dream, uh, that I may know it. And Balaam, the son of Beor, answered the king and said unto him, This means nothing else but a great evil that will spring up from, uh, against Egypt in the latter days. For a son will be born in Israel, who will destroy all Egypt and its inhabitants and bring forth the Israelis from Egypt with a mighty hand. And therefore, O king, take counsel upon this matter, that you will may destroy the hope of the children of Israel and afflict them before this evil arises against Egypt. And the king said unto Balaam, and what shall we do unto Israel? Surely after a certain matter did we first counsel against them and should and could not prevail over them. Now therefore give you also advice against them by which we may prevail over them. And Balaam answered the king saying, Send now and call thy two counsels, and we will see what their advice is upon the matter afterwards, and, and servants will speak. And the king sent and called two of the council, uh, Rovel and the, the Midianite, and Job the Uzite. And they came and sat before the king. And the king said unto them, 
Behold, you have both heard a, a dream which I have dreamed, interprets thereof. Now therefore give counsel and know and see what is to do, be done to the children of Israel, by we may prevail over them, before the evil shall spring upon us. And Revel the Midianite answered the king and says, May the king live, and may the king live forever. If it seems good to the king, let, let him down for the Hebrews and leave them, and let them no stretch forth their hand against them. For these are they whom Yahweh chose in the day of old and took as a lot of their inheritance from amongst all the nations of the earth. And the king of, of the earth, the kings of the earth, whose is there that stretched their hands against them with impurities of whom their God was not av avenged. Surely thou knowest that when Abraham went down to Egypt, the Pharaoh and the former king of Egypt saw Sarah his wife and took her for a wife, uh, because Abraham said, She is my sister, for, for he was afraid at least the men of Egypt should slay him on account of his wife. And when the king of Egypt had her, taken Sarah, then God smote them and the household with the heavy plagues upon the, the restoring of Abraham, his wife, Sarah. One was, then they were healed. And then uh, Am Amalich, the, the uh, Garnonite, the king of the Philistines, God punished on account of Sarah, the wife of, of Abraham, and stopping everyone from man and beast. And when their, when their God came to Abimech in the dream of night and terror him, and ordered that he, he might restore Abraham, Sarah, whom he had taken. Afterwards, all the people of uh, Ger were punished on account of Sarah. And Abraham prayed to God for them, and he in, in instructed of him, and he healed them. And Abinach feared all the this evil that came upon him and his people, and returned Abraham to his wife Sarah, and gave him with many gifts. And he did so also to Isaac when he divided them from Gerar. And God had done wonderful things to him, th that all the waters uh, cause of Gear would dry up, and their produce did not go forth, until Abinach of Gear and uh, Harith of one of his friends. And uh, Pithel, the captain of the host, went to him, and they bent and bowed down before him to the ground, and they required of him to supplicate for him, and the prayers to Yahweh for them, and Yahweh was an, uh, an entreated of them, and, and then he healed them. And Jacob also, the, 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 plain, the plain man, was delivered through this endearing for the hand of his brother Esau and the hand of uh, Laban the Syrian it, and his mother's brother who had sought his life likewise from the hand of the kings of Canaan who had come to gather against him and his children to destroy them and then Yahweh delivered them out of the hands that they turn again to smoke them, for whom had ever stretched forth his hands against them unto impurities. Truly the Pharaoh and the formal and the father's father 
uh, reign in Joseph, the son of Jacob, above all the prince of the land of Egypt. And when he saw his wisdom, throughout the wisdom, he rescued all the inhabitants of the land from the famine, after which he ordered Jacob and his children to come down to Egypt in order that through their virtues in the land of Egypt and the land of Goshen might be delivered from the famine. Now therefore, if it seems good in thy eyes, cease from destroying the children of Israel. But if it has been not thy will that thy should uh, dwell in Egypt, send them forth from here, that they may go to the land of Canaan, and the land where their ancestors sojourned. And when the Pharaoh heard the words of, of uh, Jephro, he was very angry with him, so that he rose unto him with shame from the king's presence. And when the Midian and his and his land took Joseph and, and struck him, and the king said to Job, the usurped, What sayest thou, Job? And what is thy advice respecting the Hebrews? So Job said to the king, Behold, all the inhabitants of the land are in thy power, and the inhabitants of the land are in power, and king uh, seem good to you. And your eyes, and and the king said unto Balaam, What does thou say, Balaam? Seek thy word, that we may hear it. And Balaam said to the king, Of all the kings that counseled against the Hebrews, will they be delivered? And the king will not be able to prevail over with any counsel, for if thou Thinketh to lessen them from the, the flaming fire, thou canst and not prevail over them. Surely their God delivered Abraham, their father, from your of the uh, Chaldeans. And if thou seekest to destroy them by the sword, surely Isaac, their father, was delivered from it. And, and the ram was placed instead and if which and if you were hard and vigorous labors of through thinking it will lessen them thou will not prevail even in this for their father Jacob served Levin in in man and in, in manner of hard work and prevailed now therefore O king hear my words for this is a counsel which is counsel against them, by which thou prevail over them, from which thou should not depart. And if if it pleases the king, let him order all the children which shall be born from that day forward to be thrown into the water, for by this cast thou a uh, a wipe away from their names for none of them nor of their fathers were tried in the matter and the king heard the words of Balaam and the things which pleased the king and the prince princess and the king did according to the words of Balaam and the king ordered the proclamation to be issued and the law to be made throughout the land of Egypt saying, Every male child born to the Hebrews from this day uh, forth shall be thrown into the water. And the Pharaoh called upon all the servants, saying, Go now, seek throughout the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel are, and see every son born to the Hebrews shall be cast into the river, but every daughter you shall let live. And when the children of Israel heard the things that which the Pharaoh commanded, he cast their male children unto the river. Some of the people spared uh, from their wives and others a neighbor of them.
And from that day forward, when the day time delivered arrived to those women in Israel who had remained with their husbands, they went to the field to bring forth there, and they brought forth in the field and left their children upon the field to return home. And Yahweh, who had swore to their ancestors and multiply them, and sent one of the ministering angels, which are in heaven, to wash each children in the water, to anoint them and, and wash it, and to put into their hands of two smooth stones from one of them to suckle milk from the other honey. And, and he caused it, its hair to grow to its knees and by which it might cover itself and comfort and, it, and to cling to it through its compassion for it. And when God had compassion over them and had delivered to multiply them upon the face of the land, he ordered his earth, ordered this earth to receive them, to pre pre uh, preserve them, therefore, till the time of their growth up, and after which the earth opened its mouth and vomited them forth and sprouted them forth and from the city like herds of in the earth. And the grass of the forest, and they return each to its family and to its father's house, and they ret returned to them. And the ba and the babies of the children of Israel upon the, the earth, like herds of the field, through God's grace to them. And then when all the Egyptians saw this thing, that they were forth, each of this field which uh, his yoke of oxen and his uh, and and the prow up the as as the uh, pound of the earth at the seed of times, and when they uh, plowed and they were unable to hurt the infants of the children of Israel, so that the people increased and waxed exceedingly, and the Pharaoh ordered his officers daily to go to Goshen to seek for the babies of the children of Israel. And when they had sought and sought them and uh, found one, they took it from its mother's bosom and by force, and they threw it into the river, but the female children left in this mother, and thus did Egyptians for the Israel all that day. So there you go. As unbelievable it is, because a lot of people are lukewarm, so they don't experience the real true power of God like they could. But God God actually spared the children. This is how much God loves the children that are born. When the Egyptians were trying to kill those baby male children, God spared them and brought them into the earth and the, the probably canyons of the earth to, to nurture them until they grew up. This is why it's such a sin to kill a child. Because God's the one that creates that child, not, not man, no woman. They're allowed to have it. They're given it to it. It's a gift. That's a gift from God. Children are a gift from God. And women are men nor. They, they don't have the power to create life. God is the one that creates the life in them when they come together. It's one of his commandments of nature that he has. But it, when it comes down to it, it's God that's creating that spirit that you don't see in that womb. And then it gets a human body start growing around it. It's God that does these things. And it's a, it's a blaspheme to, to harm one of the things of God's creations. It's a blaspheme and it's very wrong. It's very sinful. And God will 
will uh, do the same plagues of Egypt that you will see through Moshe in the future as he will do today. All the plagues of Egypt are coming back on the earth precisely because they kill their children, precisely because they kill the innocent of other people's land and their children that are innocent. All the plagues of Egypt are coming all over the earth because of these things. Mark my words. Now I want to pray for those that are lost, that would like to be saved today. Stop being wicked. Stop being lukewarm. Be saved. God so loved the world that he saved you. There is sin in his forgotten spirit coming in the flesh, taking on a sonship for you. And, and all on it was his very own spirit that he sent into flesh and died on the cross for you so that you can be forgiven of your trespasses if you accept this and you accept and have a wonderful relationship out of this and are baptized in water. If you're ready to be saved, pray this prayer, lukewarm person or unsaved person. Dear God Yahweh, I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body as Lord and Savior of my life. Love you very much, Yeshua Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Now have a wonderful relationship, the evidence of salvation, be baptized in water, the second witness to salvation. And the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Jesus, is, is, is an, is, His presence is coming upon you, blessing you, and, and baptizing you in the Spirit now. Amen. God bless you. May you be strong and may you read the books of, of John. St. John and First and Second John, and may you blossom into a beautiful thing. Welcome to the family of God, little brother and little sister. God bless you. Let's end with the Shalom prayer. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Holiness that brings peace and passes on his city, never seven, never broken, complete peace of God. I leave you. Blessings be with you. Be strong, be holy, be righteous, and be faithful in all you do. For Yahweh and for the Mashiach, the Messiah, Yeshua, HaMashiach, our El Shaddai. Amen. God bless.